Dr. Kingsley, tell us about your book and how it can help people who are experiencing hair loss. My book called The Hair Loss Cure helps many people with hair loss problems. It helps them cope with their hair loss, it helps them find out why they're losing their hair, and it also suggests certain treatments that will help their hair condition. And in addition, it will help them monitor that those treatments that they choose work. Who suffers from hair loss? Many people suffer from hair loss. Sixty percent of women at some time in their life loses hair, and eighty percent of men. What are the common causes of hair loss, and how are they different for men and women? There are many causes of hair loss. The most common ones are hereditary, hormonal problems such as thyroid, uh, diet, and stress. The difference between men and women, in the main, more women have iron deficiency and also life changes such as having a baby, menopause, or even going on or coming off the pill. How do you measure if your hair loss is excessive or normal? You measure if your hair loss is excessive or normal by looking about how much is coming out. For instance, if you're seeing more hair falling out over a 7 to 10 day period than you have noticed in the past. The other way to find out is to see if there's any hair thinning, meaning that there are wider partings on your scalp. What tips do you have for people who are starting to experience hair loss? First thing to do is don't panic. The next thing is to go and find an expert who's going to find out why you're losing your hair. Then treat each of those whys. What are some of the current treatments for hair loss? The current treatments for hair loss uh, depend on what is causing the loss in the first place. If it's hereditary, there's Propecia for men, there's Minoxidil for men and women, and there's a new device called a laser comb which has just been cleared by the FDA. These are things that can be used in conjunction with an improved diet, a reduction in stress. Again, it depends on why you're losing your hair. How do you monitor the progress of your hair treatment? Well, there's two ways. Uh, one is fairly basic. If you color your hair, you can see the regrowth of the colored hair or of the virgin hair. The other way, if you don't color your hair, or even if you do, is you can see new hair springing up, uh, particularly after you've just washed your hair. If those hairs taper to a point, then you know that they are new hair. How long will it take till I get results? Unfortunately, it can take three to six months before you see results with any type of treatment. What tips do you have to help people deal with the psychological and lifestyle problems caused by hair loss? Some tips that I have for people to deal with the psychological problems associated with hair loss. The first tip is don't panic. Just because you're losing some hair does not mean that you're going bald. The second thing is to see an expert to find out why you're losing your hair and treat each of those whys. And finally, Wash your hair as frequently as you need to and style it just as you used to, to make it look its best. Where can we find more information about hair loss? You can find more information about hair loss at www.hairandscalp.com. Thank you, Dr. Kingsley. My pleasure.